Now let's go for a more intricate uh, cross multiplication kind of equation. Let's do it together. Two divided by x plus two equals twelve divided by three. Okay. Now look at this proportion. Hmm. So using the the rules for cross multiplication, let's do that cross. All right. Numerator loops with the other denominator loop. Okay. And the numerator on the right hand side with the denominator on the left hand side loop. Okay. So let me just do my oranges. So it's 2 times 30, right? Equals my blues. 12 times x plus 2. What did I do here? I didn't put the x plus 2 first. I put the 12 first. Why? Because of uh, distributive property. Everything comes back to haunt you. Okay, now. So 2 times 30. Let's do that. That's a fun part. Okay. 12 times x. 12x. Uh, carry over the, the sign in the middle. Plus. 12 times 2. Just write that down. Okay. So then you get 60 equals 12x plus, what's 12 times 2? 24. So we've got 60, 12x, and 24. Always look at the terms because it can always be like terms and then you can always cancel, um, subtract, multiply, divide, or simplify. So we've got a 60 and we've got a 24. I know what you could do. We could just, hmm, 60 is a constant, 24 is a constant. 12x is a variable, so we're just going to leave that alone. I'm going to undo the addition of 24. So undoing addition, I know. Subtraction. Mm -hmm. Bring down the 12x, right? And what's 60 minus 24? 36, right? You're going to undo the multiplication of 12, right? What will that be? Right? Und undoing um, the multiplication of 12 will be division. So divide by 12, right? And x will equal 3. So final answer, x equals 3. And that's the joy of cross-multiplication.